1 John 3. John 1 Billy. From verse 1 to 3. Chapter 3. God wants to bless Christians. Who will live a holy life. Can you just write holiness? Holiness is going to be your way. Up. Once we have a revelation of his love. We will maintain holiness. If truly we understand that we have been loved. Come what can come. We won't go and defile ourselves. Like I said, there are three things that are going to test our holiness. Is when we know His love. Is not when we understand that there are people of the world. The last thing is the hope of His appearing. The devil will never tempt you. By someone you don't love. You are going to be hurt. You are going to be offended. Don't defile yourself. Remember that you need to maintain your own Because you know he's going to appear. There is no promotion without opposition. Whatever you are seeing, try to fight you so that you turn in another way. That thing knows that your blessing is around the corner. You need to understand that when God wants to lift you up and raise you up, there will be challenges in your life. So maintain yourself. Until such time when you are purified, approved, and from there you will be established. You know, uh, this is the time that whoever have to try to find a mistake must find you worshipping God. Whatever is trying to find a mistake it must not be a mistake that will make people to curse God. Revelation 12 and we read 11 just read verse 11 going down there are things that come to affect your faith and bring doubt so that you work against your holiness. Because when you stand your ground, maintain your holiness, you are connected. You are able to have visitations. You can hear any message from above. Because our God is holy. And you are, you are, you are becoming holy. So you have got the same base with him. And if you believe, say it. So now we overcome it. Satan. By the words of our testimony. When you are feeling pains, I'm not sick. You are feeling pain. I'm not sick. You are feeling pain. I'm not sick. You are feeling pain. I'm not, I don't know if you are hearing me. You don't need to change. Because when you start to change, you start to have doubt. And from there, the thoughts, evil thoughts come in. We need to maintain our holiness. Psalm 103. Simple things can take us away. Can you tell us simple things can take away? You find yourself defiling yourself by evil thoughts. Death is our last enemy. Any enemy that approaches us is there to divert us from our faith and affect our holiness. I don't know if you're hearing that. 
whatever comes to bring doubt, it is your enemy. Your enemy is not somebody very close to you. Your enemy is something that comes your way to threaten your life so that you get out from faith. And from there you defile yourself. That thing is why because you, you start to have you start to have life which does not have holiness. You don't stand your ground. You are not where God is. The precious blood also cannot do anything. You become the enemy of Satan. Of God. Psalm 66. Maybe we read from verse 16. With holiness. God answers prayers. Because there is no holiness. And God cannot answer that. Verse 2, verse 1. Verse chapter two, verse one. Yeah. Truly, we want to maintain holiness. We have got Jesus the righteous. Advocate. We must always pray for us. The moment when we recognize that we have done wrong. If we want to maintain our own holiness, let's expose it. Christians, you know, Satan wants to catch them. Satan He makes them to have things that will affect their holiness. When you start to love things of How God, you'll become an enemy of God. If you know you are living a holy life, when you call, God will answer you. Today, I want God to answer you. When you call him, something must happen this month. If you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. What is it that you want to call and get it? When you don't see anything, check your lifestyle. Don't accuse people. Look at your character. Look how you are living. I don't know if you are hearing me. If truly you can you preserve yourself by living a holy life, you will take the best course that is waiting for you. I'm looking at some people here. Stop defiling yourself. Maintain holiness and God is about to lift you up. You are not where God wants you to be. He still wants to take you somewhere. Have time to wait. Yes, it looks like your friends are going forward. Don't look at your friends. Look at yourself. Deal with yourself. And God of mercy will lift you up. Isaiah 59. Isaiah 59. From verse 1 to 3. Verse 9 to 3. If you want to have a clear communication with God, let's try to tell God. Confess this thing away. Purify yourself. And the moment when you are pure. You begin to hear God. You are not far away from God. God's voice. The problem is what you are doing. You are not far away from the hand of God. There are things that you are doing that must stop today. And the God of mercy will see you through. Delays are not there so that you remove them by prayer. They are there for checkup. When you get that delay, stand on the mirror of the word of God. Begin to check yourself. Because you might be moving. 
being without checking where you are walking because if you check you realize you put your leg where you were not needed now come back rectify it because every step you is calculated to the best destiny that God has sent for you if you believe shout hallelujah be tell holiness Soon, your God will open the oven. You will come out much. If you believe, shout hallelujah. It is good for people to leave you for a while. It is good for people to reject you, but it's for a while. It is good for people to run away from you. It is for the best thing that you won't look around them. You will look inside you. When you look inside you, you will find what is not needed. When you remove it, you go closer to the one who has called you. I see some people that God has prepared them. I thank God for that challenge. I thank God for that shame. Maintain your holiness. Your God is taking you to where he wants you to be. He's taking you to where he has called you to be. If you believe, shout hallelujah. It's very simple when you're alone. It's so difficult in majority. You don't need friendship in Christianity. You need to be alone. Oh, I don't know if you're hearing me. I reach a level whereby I don't need a friend. I have to be alone. When I'm alone, I can't talk about someone. I talk about myself. This is the time that you talk about yourself. Check somebody and say, hey, can you stand up and tell people, talk about yourself, talk about yourself, stop defining yourself by talking about other people. When, when people are busy shouting my name, I'll be shouting who's thinking about Jesus. Looking at myself. Not looking at anybody. This is the time that this year, look at yourself. When someone comes talking about someone else, say, no, you are in a wrong address. I don't want to be defined. I want to maintain my holiness. I want to be lonely. With my God. I don't know if you are hearing me. I don't know if you are hearing me.